Right, we're going to apply the product rule, power rule, quotient rule for these logs. So remember, remember what the product rule was? Uh, two separate logs are added. Okay, the quotient rule, the two separate logs were being subtracted. Okay, and the power rule is just bring the exponent to the front. Again, go back and look at the uh, the three rules. So I do it a quicker way than what they actually show you in the book. Okay, I see these as numerators. The product rule, so as two separate logs, they are being added. So I jump straight to this line, like right there. Okay, so again, these are on top. So it's like saying, okay, these are the positive ones. Okay, this one's on the bottom. So it's going to come from the quotient rule. So it's going to have a minus. Okay, so there it is. So remember, that was on the top. That was on the top. That was on the bottom. So this has got a plus. You can write a plus in there if you want to. And this has got a minus in front of it. Okay, so just visuals on this. And then after that, you just bring the exponent to the front. Remember that exponent to the front. And that's why you get that. So in other words, I didn't even bother with that line. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at B. This is a bit of a harder one. Okay. First of all, is that the one? Cube root. Okay. So the cube root, what they've done if they've changed it to the power one third. Okay. So this is the question. Now, again, I do it a bit of a simpler, quicker way than they've done it, if you're okay with fractions. Okay. They've brought the exponent to the front. Okay. Good. Now, again, I wouldn't bother with this line here because, again, anything on the top is a product rule. So it's got a plus. Now, can you see they brought the 2 to the front already? OK, so 2 to the front. But the A and the B are being added. OK, the A and the B, because that's come from the product rule. It's on the top. It's a numerator. This is on the bottom. So it's got a minus in front. OK, and they brought the 5 to the front. Remember, that third is still there. I brought it to the front earlier. Then can you see this here? Look at this rule here. Remember, log to base a of a is 1. All right? So that 2 just is a 2. It's not 2 to log a to base a because log to base a of a is 1. So if we simplify it to that. Then they've used the distributive law and come up with that. Now, I'm going to show you a different way. So I've actually multiplied. I've used the power rule. Well, not the power. I've used the exponent power rule. Nothing to do with logs. Look, 2 times a third is 2 thirds. B to the 1 times a third is B to the third. C5 to the third, okay? Multiply these, you get 5 thirds. I'm just using exponent rules. In other words, I've changed it to look like this. It's still a log. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. So in other words, instead of this here, where the exponent is a third, I've actually done the exponent rule and multiplied, okay, to get this. Here it is, okay? So here's the actual question. Right, again, remember, anything on the top has got a plus okay so the a to two thirds b to the one third is two separate logs got a plus in between okay this has come from the bottom denominator so it's got a minus okay and then all i've done is bring the exponent to the front look the exponent to the front exponent to the front exponent to the front that's this here okay now remember log to base a of a is one one times two third don't need it there you go. That's the answer. That's what they've got right there. OK, so I just think my way was a little bit quicker. OK, again, you can do it however you want to, as long as you're using correct rules. Right. Let's look at C here. Right. Again, now this shows it nicely. OK, look at this. Um, is that 8 to the 5? I think I erased 8 to the 5. All of this is on top. Look, I'm going to jump straight to this line here. Look at that. Just that line there. OK. So again, forget about all of this. Jump straight to this line here. Because anything on the numerator is going to be positive. Okay, so log to base b of the a plus log to base b of the y5. Okay, anything on the bottom is going to be a negative. So minus log to base b of m cubed. Minus log to base b of n to the fourth. Okay, so I just jump straight from here to here. Didn't bother with this. Didn't bother with this. Okay, again, visuals. Then we just bring the exponent to the front. And that's it. There you go. How about that one? Okay. And how about putting them back together again? Okay. So that's that one. How about putting them back together again? So this time, opposite, you'd put the exponent here, exponent here. And that's what they've got right here. Now, again, this time, anything with a minus in front is going to go on the bottom. Anything with a plus, you can think of this as positive, is going to go on the top. So as a single log to base b, they're all log to base b. That one 
goes on the top. That one goes on the top and that one goes on the bottom. All right. And again, that's what that is. Again, I'm, I'm cutting stuff out. That's what that piece is. Can you see that? So I just jump straight from there to there. OK, so again, X5 on top, Z1 fourth on the top because they've got the pluses, minus in front, Y on the bottom. And all I've done is change the Z to the 1 fourth to the fourth root of Z. There you go. OK, this one, this is straightforward. LN of that one over that one because it's a minus. OK, and there it is. But the little sneaky thing on this is this. If you factor 3x squared minus 5x minus 2, you get a 3x plus 1. These will cancel, so it's just 1 over x minus 2. Okay, here we go.